Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, all eyes this week will be on how equity markets react to stubborn US inflation and the expected Fed resolve. But first, in China, they're about to dump their respected technocrat boss of their central bank with new political appointments and giving Beijing even closer control over monetary policy. Separately, their central bank released a standard quarterly implementation report on Friday, saying it wants to avoid flood irrigation of new debt to support their recovering economy. But they also noted the external environment remains severe and complex, adding that the basics of the domestic economic, economic recovery are not solid. The report also said the property sector requires time to transition, while the pressure of balancing local government, fiscal revenues and expenditures persists. And Japan reported CPI inflation in the year to January of 4.3%, up from 4% in December. This is their highest rate in 42 years since December 1981. Food prices were up 7.3%, but generally it was driven by rises in the cost of imported raw materials and the yen's weakness. The annualised rate of change between December and January was almost 5%, so the pace is quickening there. Going the other way, Singapore's industrial production fell in January and by much more than expected. It was expected to dip slightly in, in December, but the actual data was much worse and twisted the year-on-year -year result to a retreat. Over the weekend, we got data that shows the American policy response against inflation isn't working yet. Their core PCE price index, the Federal Reserve's preferred gauge to measure inflation, rose by 4.7% annually, higher than the 4.6% in December and surpassing the market expectations of 4.3%. More concerning is that the annualised rise from December to January was a rate above 7% better or worse, depending on your perspective, is that incomes are rising at the same rate. This is good that workers are not falling behind and that the tight labour market helps that. But it is bad because the policymakers will see that wage claims that are a driver and wage push inflation is settling in. The only way out of that is to induce a recession, but they don't look like they're anywhere near that yet. Markets are nervous though, equity prices fell, bond yields rose and the US dollar jumped. Markets are expecting the Fed to push on and do what it says it wants to do, kill off wage push inflation. And that means tough times are ahead. The US Treasury 10 year yield starts today at 3.95% and unchanged since Saturday, but up 14 basis points in a week. And the price of gold will open today at $1,811 an ounce and unchanged since Saturday, but that's down $30 in a week. And oil prices start today up 50 cents and just on 76.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is still at 82.50 a barrel. Both are unchanged in a week. And the Kiwi dollar is 61.6 US cents and unchanged even if it is close to a three month low. Against the Australian dollar, we're also a little changed at 91.7 Australian cents and against the euro, we're holding at 58.5 euro cents. That all means our trade weight index starts today at 70.2 and also a little changed. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.